Hello, thank you for joining me on my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a reading for you entitled What's he thinking about me now? Or she, what is she thinking about you now? Would you like to know? Let's get straight on with it. No credits, no music, straight on with it, no messing about. We're going to choose this blue pack of cards for you. It's a pick a card reading, as most of you would know, of course. And it's a timeless reading, which means that it doesn't matter when you find it, you can find it today or next year or the year after. It will apply to you when you find it and your spirit guides will help you to find it at the right moment. So, let's make some snacks. The sun is going down in beautiful North Devon in England, over the Atlantic Ocean, just down the road. And it's a beautiful day here in, in North Devon. So, what is he thinking about you now? Very popular choice, one I do quite frequently. Let's update it, see what he's thinking about you now. And there we have four stacks of cards for you to choose from. And we have number one there for you, number two, three or four. One, two, three or four. Which one do you fancy? You can use your intuition, you can use your psychic gifts, you can pause the video and choose, you can use a lucky number, you can phone a friend. Pick one, two, three or four. And when you've done that, we'll move on and start with number one and I will put the timestamps below for two, three and four down there for you so you can go straight to your chosen pack. And uh, this is a timeless reading, I said. Pick a card reading. And if you've got this far and you've found this video and you've chosen one of these, there will be a message in here for you somewhere. It won't all apply to you. It won't all resonate with you. So take in what does and leave out what you don't really think is relevant for you. Or go to one of my other readings. Let's try with number one. Okay. What's he or she thinking about you right now? During the, the present days. I'll tell you the bad stuff first. And keep all the good stuff till later. So watch this number one. All the way through because I'm going to tell you the negatives first and the good stuff, all the surprises right at the end, which is only a few minutes away. So, what's he thinking about you now? Well, some of you, this comes up a lot, I know, but it, it does come up a lot because a lot of you are trying for babies and some of you are pregnant. There's at least two pregnancy messages here, so that's positive. I'm, I said I'd tell you the negatives first. I'm struggling to see any really. I think there, for some of you, there are two. People interested, not just one. As I keep repeating, it won't resonate with all of you. But some of you have two men or two ladies that are quite like you. And there may be some kind of a battle going on. One of them is, they're both nice people, but one of them is more flirtatious than the other. And it seems to me, number one, that you may be attracted to the flirtatious one more than perhaps the other one who is more loyal and loving. So that's a slight negative. It seems to me that you have to make some choices. One of, you, one of these men, if they are men, or they could be women if you're looking at women, of course. One of these lovers or persons of interest is someone that loves you or will love you. And when he or she does, it will be true. It will be unconditional. It will be romantic. It will be very special, like something out of a, a novel. I think both of these men travel extensively. You can see them here. And it depends what's around the cards. Of course, they mean very little on their own. But one of these men may also be working quite a lot and perhaps working away quite a lot. So for some of you, I think your interests may be with the wrong one. Although sometimes the naughty ones can be more attractive to some people, of course. You like the naughty boy types who may deceive you, he may two-time you and may not be loyal to you. That's, what my con that's my concern for you, number one. The other man could be the opposite and a little bit too smothering for some of you. You may not like this term of detention all the time. You may not like constant phone calls or constant messaging. You may find it a bit smothering. So. You have a choice, I believe, most of you, number one. You go for the one who is like a knight in shining armour, or do you go for the one who may not be quite already seen? They're both nice people, but one of them can't really be trusted with the ladies if it's a man. 
and if it's a girl she's probably a bit flirtatious with the chaps but i think most of you watching this are ladies so this is almost certainly for most of you it will be a man and a second man of different character as i said some of you are pregnant number one and some of you may have a friend who is also pregnant or a sister there's two pregnancies here in this reading may not be just yet but they're coming soon so bear that in mind there's with pregnancy in any reading there is also high fertility which means that everything you touch at the moment is growing so if you're trying for a baby it's fantastic if you're thinking of a new job or a new business venture it's a good time because you're fertile and fertile means growth in everything that you attempt not just when you're trying for babies and that sort of thing so you're in a period of growth and positivity which is good I think you have a female friend who is good to you who is a good advisor she is also a mother but she's been a mother for a while and she is a good person for you a strong-willed character a loyal person who will look after you and you can know you know that she's on the end of the telephone if you want a, a chat so you may want to chat to her about these two blokes because she may know them these two men in America it may be guys but these two, two chaps here are chalk and cheese really they're both nice blokes but one of them can't really be tr trusted with the girls is a bit flirtatious is a bit on the move he's always moving around he may have a girl in every port as they say so I can't really see much negativity here, and I'm not just saying that to please you number one there's not much here that is concerning me if you're trying for a baby this is ideal timing we'll do some oracle cards in a minute to see if they back up this reading and they've all been shuffled as well so let me tell you the positives this is very unusual but there could be three pregnancies so is it you one of your girlfriends one of the group that you go out with there are three separate messages here of people ladies who are pregnant or soon to be pregnant which of course can also indicate twins and triplets so think about that one that will get you guessing I suppose I think the um, the romantic man that is loving and kind and quite special really he's the sort of chap that likes to treat you like a princess he will buy you flowers and all the usual stuff and maybe buy you jewelry and expensive things but they're given to you with true feelings of love not just a sprat to catch a mackerel there is a genuine kind loving chap I think he's artistic he may be into art or the theatre or drama or something like that he may be into the arts or music even so whilst we have two chaps here one is a slightly flirtatious one the romantic one I think who is maybe a little bit arty is going to make you a suggestion or a serious offer or a proposal very soon this could be a proposal to get closer to become like steady boyfriend and girlfriend if you're the youngsters it could be a proposal to move in with each other it could be a proposal of marriage but something interesting is coming from him so he's thinking about you this re reading is titled what's he thinking about me right now they're both thinking about you but I believe one of them is also thinking about other ladies and if it is a girl if you're a chap watching this looking at a girl it's the same the other way around she may be a bit flirtatious but I believe number one that you're you're about to be made an offer that could be one of the most serious of your entire life especially so far but that when you're really old and gray and doddery like me you may look back and think this was a special moment so this is a I think you've been guided to watch this video and it's very good for you so please subscribe if you haven't already we're going to do the oracle cards now click like if you like it and share me with your friends and click the um, bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload new videos which is usually every few days but um, so let's tell you a bit more about this the reading here for you number one I said I'd tell you the positives at the end of this part and the positives are that you're heading for a run of extreme good fortune your luck is changing you may have spotted this card here some of you will know what it means I'll just let you have a look at the Wheel of Fortune from the Major Arcana and that card what well, depending what surrounds it usually means a run of good fortune if it's surrounded by other things 
then it can be something else. But at the moment, that card today, the message is from Spirit, number one, is that your look's changing, and it's changing for the better. And it could be dramatic, it could be massive and really big. However, as I always say, when the spirit world predict good fortune, there's a slight catch because it's not automatic. You've got to sort of see it coming, so you don't miss it, in other words. It could come in the form of offers and in romances, that sort of thing, job offers maybe. And you're going to say to yourself, this may be it, I'll try it. But don't be reckless, don't, don't give, be too daft. But don't miss what could be a very, very lucky period. Keep your eyes open for it. So you have a lady that will guide you. She's on this side of life. You have two, possibly three pregnancies close by. You'll hear about them in the coming weeks and you'll say, David was right. Tell me in the comments below. Want to ask me any questions? Go to the comments below. If you want me to do a proper reading for you on the phone, from anywhere in the world, go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com and you can book me on there. And if I'm not free, one of the team that work for me will help you, and they're the best. I only choose the best to work for me. The elite. That's davidcharlespsychic.com. So let's see now if the oracle cards agree with what I've told you. Run of good fortune, pregnancies, romantic offer. The man is thinking about you all the time. He's thinking about you as you watch this. You may even hear your phone pick with a text message or, or an email. But listen out. The first oracle card is an air card, and this one says, and I can't read these without my glasses, should have memorised them really, this one says, a neighbour holds the key to your next project, keep in touch. Well this could be the lady I mentioned earlier who is someone who helps you, it could be a chap, it could be a bloke, a neighbour holds the key to your next project. So the next project is about the fertility, obviously, I said whatever you do, will grow and it will grow fast. If you're taking up a new hobby, going to the gym maybe, keeping fit, running, artwork, music, photography, anything like that, this is a fantastic time. The lady that helps you and guides you will be all for it and she'll give you some advice. She may be doing the same kind of thing that you're going to do. Let's try. We usually four of these. This is an earth card. Good things will happen when you give yourself some of the love you give to others. This tells me that some of you, number one, some of you are not being fair to yourself. You don't see what a good person you really are and what a beautiful person you are inside and outside. And I can see that you are. I can see it in your eyes, number one. You're beautiful inside and out, so remember it. But seriously, good things will happen when you give yourself some of the love that you give to others. So you're a very loving person, number one, most of you. That means you're a very kind person. You care about others, you care about animals, you care about the planet, and you care. So you need to see that you care for you, for yourself. That's what the Oracle cards are saying, and it backs up with what I've been telling you, really. A fire card. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages from the divine. Nice card there with a picture of the moon clouds pay attention to your ideas as they are messages from the divine now I said to you watch out for good luck it will come in the form of offers and opportunities this is telling me number one that you're quite psychic so pay attention to your own thoughts your dreams your daydreams and your ambitions and let them glow let them grow these ideas are messages from the divine from spirit from the spirit world they're your spirit guides getting through to you. And if you're having dreams, as I always say, if they're repetitive, the dreams are being repeated because the spirits are trying to get messages through and you're not getting it, so they keep repeating them. Good reading, number one. One of the best I've seen for a while. A fire card, last of all. Courage and creativity is rewarded with abundant resources. So courage, creativity, is rewarded with abundant resources. As I said, your look's changing. You need courage to see it. Don't miss it. That tree there often reminds me of the film Race with the Devil with Peter Fonda, where they're chased by witches through the film. Good film. Race with the Devil. Courage and creativity are rewarded with abundant reward resources. This number one, as I said, I always tell you the bad stuff first. There isn't any. 
So it's, I couldn't make you wait till the end. It's good all the way through. I hope you enjoyed that. Please click like and, sub, and subscribe. Watch my, uh, if, you, if you want to watch my videos, click the bell icon. And if you want a reading from me, go to davidchildpsychic.com. If I'm not free, one of my team will help you and they're the best. And a special thank you if you're all alone watching this or if you're lonely. I do care about that. And it pleases me that you take the effort to watch my videos. Thank you so much. And now, number one, we're going to get ready to move on to number two. See you in a minute. Bye-bye. Hello. If you chose number two, this one is for you. Let's all look. What's he thinking about you now? Could be a girl. What's she thinking about you now? But for most of you, I think your lady is mostly watching this. And... What is he thinking about you now? One of the most popular readings we do on this, on my channel anyway, and um, one of the most requested. So what I'm going to do, number two, is tell you the bad things first, the negatives first, let's get them out of the way, and I'll tell you the real good stuff and the surprises at the end. So stay with me till the end of your reading, and a special welcome if you're alone or you're lonely watching this. That does mean a lot to me that you take the time to watch my videos. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Make some comments below for me, ask questions, I'll answer all my questions. Let me tell you the negatives first. What is he thinking about you right now? Now there is a loss in the reading, number two, which can mean that you're losing each other. And I say over and over again, this won't resonate with everybody. So if it, if it resonates with you, take what does and ignore what doesn't. But if you've chosen number two, it doesn't matter when you find this video, it could be 10 years from now, you'll find it when the spirit guides want you to find it, and you found it today. So number two, there will be a message in here for you somewhere. That's definite. They're trying to get through to you. So watch out for losses. If you're losing each other, that's not good. I don't think that's the case, but it can be for some of you. This person is thinking about you, and I'll tell you what as we go on. Your stress levels have been high, number two. And they're actually going down soon, which is negative now, but it's going to get better. Some of you got children. Some of you have at least one. And if you don't, it could be that your partner does, or both of you. There are children in the reading, and there may be quite a young one as well. So the negatives indicate a possible loss. There's definitely jealousy afoot. Number two, are the girls jealous of you? Is his family jealous of you or her family is there another woman that's jealous of you somebody number two is jealous of you and there may be a bit of bitterness going on in the background there could be a bit of backstabbing there could be even a bit of bullying going on and that is not good you don't need that sort of thing so if someone's bullying you comment below and i'll sort them out for you seriously you don't need to be bullied by people you don't need backstabbing you need to select your friends carefully because there's somebody around you who is not the same about you when you're not there. And I'll repeat, this doesn't apply to all of you, but just be careful. Your stress levels have been high, but they're going down, as I said. I think you're dealing with property. This can be moving. It can be moving house. It could be a holiday. And you may even be moving your job. And I think some of you, number two, are moving as a pair. So you and this person we're looking at, this girl or chap or guy in America or bloke, we call them over here in England, you may be moving together somewhere. If you do move, the prediction from spirit is that it will bring good stuff. So it's OK. Don't fear moving. If you're sort of toying with the idea of moving with your person or finishing it with your person, then I suggest you try the move. If you're struggling with each other, give it one more go. That's what I'm picking up. At the, that, this is the bad stuff, of course. The good stuff is coming. But if, it, if your partnership or your love life is going through a rough time, then the message from Spirit is that keep at it for a while at least. Keep trying because for a start off, there may be jealousy, but you're not being too timed, most of you. You're not being deceived. If there's another woman around, it could be an ex-wife or someone that's not really relevant any longer. She may have been at one time, but I don't think that you're seeing someone who's 
up to no good, as we say in, in, the, in England. I think you're okay. If anyone's up to no good around you, number two, it's fe a female or more than one. So keep an eye on your property, your personal belongings, your computer, your iPhone, your purse, your credit cards. Please don't lose something. This reading points that out. And normally, if you see a loss in a reading, in a psychic reading, it's usually the avoidable kind. So keep your doors locked. Don't lend people money, you'll lose it. It can mean you're losing each other as lovers, falling out. That's what I'm picking up for some of you. As I said, if you are and you get chance, give it one more go. Make sure you get it right this time. At least you can say that you tried then and not regret later on in life that you didn't. If you're thinking of moving and having doubts about it, for most of you, the message from Spirit is give it a go. Let me tell you some of the, neg the positives. The reading predict predicts for some of you an ending, but for some of you, number two, it predicts a new beginning. Now, because we're looking at love and what he thinks of you now, it can mean a new beginning where you're trying again, as I've mentioned, but it can also mean <coughs> excuse me, that you've got a new lover coming. So you've got one or two, and it can mean both. So you've got <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the intensif intensification of your love life, so that you and he or she, whichever, are trying again from scratch. You're going to give it another go. It can mean that you're falling in love all over again. You may have been together 50 years and suddenly you fall in love again like you did when you were teenagers, when you first met on the village green, when you were sweet 16. Good song, sweet 16. It can mean that you're falling in love all over again. If you're 30, 25, 50, it doesn't matter. You can sort of rekindle the love that you had when you first met. It's a lovely thing to do, that's what it may mean. But it can mean, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. It can mean a brand new lover. So think about that. If you're looking for somebody new, then what he thinks about you isn't really relevant yet. You may need to have a reading with me on the phone. And if you want me on the phone for a psychic reading from anywhere in the world, go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com and you can book me on there from anywhere in the world on the phone. And if I'm not free, one of the team that work for me will look after you and they're the best because I only have the best working for me. They're the elite of the don't get in my team. So a new lover may be indicated by this special card, the Ace of Cups, which in a real pack, a normal pack of cards would be the Ace of Hearts. Hearts are love. In the tarot, the cups signify love, sometimes overflowing. As you can see, it's overflowing from the Ace of, Heart, uh, Ace of Cups. So, new beginnings, another reading with a pregnancy possibly around in it. So they're in almost every reading we do these days. And um, when you do four of them, of course. So watch you don't lose something. If you're thinking of moving, do it. If you're falling in love with someone new, look at some of my other readings because we may find out what he or she is thinking. It may be too soon, in other words. But I believe a lot of you are rekindling an old romance, starting again or trying again, maybe re reuniting after being apart. Some of you are moving house, some of you are moving jobs. Some of you are going away perhaps for holidays, because there's movement. Anything to do with movement, number two, or house purchases or house sales is positive. So it's all good. But you've got to be careful you don't lose something, which can mean being swindled or cheated or deceived. So don't be paranoid, but be careful. Just be a little bit more careful when you're signing papers that are to do with money or anything like that. As I said, when you're lending things to people, you may not see them again. But the overall positives for the reading, before we do the oracle cards, is of new starts, I think. Things changing. And really, and I mean this sincerely, they're changing for the better for nearly all of you, number two. So bear that in mind. Let's see what the oracle cards think. These will shuffle before we do any of these readings. And I'll just see if they tally with what I've been telling you, see if they agree with me. So I need glasses for these. Because the eyes are going now with old age. Right. There we are. This is amazing. Now, I didn't know this card was here. This card's saying, let go of the past, embrace the light and the joy of the new day. If you can see that, I'll have a look, see if you can see that. 
<coughs> it's like a desert. You may be able to read it if it focuses. A fire card. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of the new day. So they are saying to me, the spirit world are backing up what I've told you with the oracle card, that things are changing and they're changing for good. And if they were bad, I'd tell you, I'd have to tell you everything, then they're not. As long as you don't lose something, be aware of any backstabbing or jealousy, do not stand for bullying. I told you, tell me below and I'll sort them out for you. Let's try the next one, it's an air card. Put them away. This one says, distract yourself with creative pursuits and the inspiration you seek will find you. You're not going to find it, it will find you. So there we have some clouds and a bridge seems to walk down or up from the, towards the clouds. Distract yourself with creative pursuits. Whatever you do that you like doing, creative hobbies, do that to distract yourself. And the inspiration you see, if you're looking for inspiration, it will find you. As I said earlier, there may be some doubt in your mind whether you should move house, whether you should try again with this lover, whether you should pack it all in and tell him you've, you've finished, or her. If you need inspiration, do your hobbies, and I think the things will come to you, and they will fall into place for you during the next week or so. In fact, during maybe just a few days. This one's an earth car. So what this one says, trust your inner strength and reap the benefits. Trust your inner strength, nice leaf, and reap the benefits. So you have strength, number two, trust it, trust in yourself, always trust in yourself anyway. Trust in your inner strength, feel the strength inside you, not just physical, it's the strength in there, in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul, you have inner strength. Trust it. You need to believe in yourself. We all do that, of course. But especially at the moment, number two, you're being asked to trust your strengths and believe that you can do things. And they say on their t-shirts, if you can dream it, you can do it. Last one's an earth card again. Your struggles will end when you start trying to be happy instead of being right. Okay? Your struggles will end when you start trying to be happy instead of right. So you may find, <coughs> excuse me, there's a, some mountains and a lake. Could be Lake Louise, it could be anywhere. But I love that card, I love that photograph. Okay, your struggles will end when you start to trying to be happy instead of trying to be right. So it may be that you've been thinking, whatever you do it seems to be wrong. Everything seems to be wrong. Nobody seems to agree. So try to be happy and don't try to be right because you can't, at the moment it seems that you can't be right. Whatever you do, you just, everybody thinks you're wrong and they're not, and they're not right either. You can't be right all the time, we know. <coughs> but I think you should believe in yourself. That's what the Oracle cards are saying. And allow yourself, number two, to be happy. It's important. So please subscribe if you haven't done so. Click the like for me, the thumbs up thing. Share me with your friends. Please comment below. If you want a private message with me, email me on my website, davidcharlespsychic.com and uh, click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is every few days. And uh, if you want a reading with me, my website, davidcharlespsychic.com and a special thank you if you're lonely watching this. It does mean a lot to me that you bothered to watch my videos and I appreciate that. Please subscribe, number two. We'll get ready now for number three, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Hello. If you chose number three, this one's for you. Thank you for staying with me. And uh, if you chose number three, this is a timeless reading. As I said, it's called, What is he thinking about me now? It could be a she, of course, if you're looking at a lady. I'm going to tell you all the bad things first, the naughty things first, and save the great stuff till the end. So stay with me till the end, number three, for your reading. And at the end we do some oracle cards to see if they back up this reading. This is a timeless reading, which means that you can find it today, next week, or next year. When you find this reading, 
it will be the right time. The Spirit Guide will guide you to find this reading at the right moment. So there will be, number three, a message in here for you somewhere. Not all of it will resonate, but there will be a message in here that you've been guided to find this. And I'll tell you the real good stuff and all the surprises at the end. To start with, let's do the negatives. There's some deceit around you, number three. It seems to be from a person of the opposite sex. So if you're a chap watching this, it'll be from a girl. If you're a lady watching this, it will probably be from a fella, a chap, or a man, or a guy in America, of course. So there's deceit. There's some naughty goings on, number three, that you need to be aware of, because you may not be aware of them. But there are very few negatives here. These are good readings tonight. Well, today, it's just getting dark over the Atlantic in North Devon, in England. The sun is setting over the Atlantic, and um, it's a been a beautiful day. At the moment, number three, I think you're waiting for something to happen. Something hasn't quite come to fruition yet, and it will be to do with the question, what's he thinking about you now? Now, you'll know what this means more than I do, because there's a lot of you out there, of course. I feel, number three, the negatives here indicate some kind of a waiting game going on, and I think you're really getting fed up with waiting now. You may be waiting for him or her to say something or to do something that they're not doing. And you may be losing your patience. My advice is to stick with it for a while. The spirit world want you to wait. Otherwise, I don't think they would have got you to watch this video. So stay with me. I think they're, they know that things are going on underneath. It, sometimes it means that you're waiting for someone to leave their wife or something. I'm not suggesting that's the case, but it could be. You may be waiting for somebody to commit to you and they're dawdling or finding excuses that they can't do it just yet and you're starting to get fed up with waiting some of you some of you there is trickery there is deceit and i think there's somebody that's worried about you it's got to be a good close friend is it your mum or your sister or just your best friend somebody's concerned about you number three once again you'll know what this means if it, if it means you somebody's worried about you so they must think a lot of you are they worried about you and your romance? Are they thinking it's not going too well? Do they think you're too good for him or for her? If they do, they may, they may tell you, they may be frightened to tell you. Sometimes when you finish with a the person, they'll tell you afterwards, well, you were too good for him anyway, but they don't tell you why you're together. <clears throat> but that's only their opinion. There's no negatives here that you can't deal with. There's no backstabbing. There's no jealousy, which we had in number two's reading. There's a person here. If it's the man you're looking at, he's quite a solid person. But it could be someone else. It could be your dad or your brother. There's a man here that's solid, dependable, a bit stayed in his ways. He does things he says he'll do. He comes up in lots of readings, this type of character. If this is your lover, then he's a good bloke. But he may be sometimes... A bit boring can't think of a better word he may be a bit predictable if you're the if you're a bit of a, um, a go-getter and life and soul of a party type number three this man may not be quite the same he may be more of a pipe and slippers type that's exaggerating but he may be a bit more settled so some of you watching this may be a bit more mature than some of the others there is movement in the reading which is positive there are children in the reading. They could be grandchildren if you're mature, older, should we say. They could be your children. There's happiness with the children. There's nothing wrong there. That's usually the case with tarot readings and spirit readings. They don't normally predict bad things with children. And uh, of course it would be wrong to anyway. But I think the children in the reading are happy. There's at least two, maybe more, or there may be more to come. If you're moving, which happened I think in number one's reading, Happiness will prevail. But I think some of you, number three, are moving to a more rural setting. I think you're getting away from the concrete jungle, from the houses, the factories, the shops. You want to get away. You may not be doing it, but it may be a dream that you've got. If it is, if that's your dream, then you need to work towards it because it's predicted that it will happen. Maybe not yet. Maybe not for years, but it will happen. If your dream is to move, like I did, to the seaside here in England, sometimes you need to make it happen. I think the spirit world are saying here, number three, 
make your dreams come true. They won't necessarily happen automatically. And they're not saying to you, don't get doing that. There's nothing like that. They're just encouraging you to have your dreams, have your ambitions and follow them. Don't let people talk you out of it, including your lovers. Because I think that's where your happiness will be, especially if you're by the sea or water, a lake, anything. So some of you may be water signs. I think you're, yourself, you're a person that can be depended upon as well, number three. I think you're loyal to your friends. And I do think most of them are loyal to you, which you don't get in all readings. I think you're waiting for developments. I do think that there's deceit around you from a man. It may not be your lover. It could be somebody at work. It could be somebody in the family, a cousin or a, or a brother or something. There's something going on that they're trying to deceive you. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes and you're not going to have it. And I think, number three, this has happened to you in the past and you're getting a bit fed up with that as well. So if you're moving house, it's brilliant. If you're moving your job, it's fantastic. If you're moving for a holiday, it's fantastic. If you're moving with kids, it's brilliant. If you're moving in with your lover, it's fine. So all the things to do in movement are good. Let's tell you the positives. When you've dealt with all these niggly things, not negatives, there's a major celebration in this reading. It could be a wedding, could be a friend's wedding, could be a birthday. It could be a Valentine thing if you're watching it in, in February or thereabouts. You could be watching this reading at any time, any, any year. But there will be a celebration soon. You'll be invited to it if it's not yours. If it's your own, then it could be that you're having a wedding or a birthday or an anniversary maybe. There's some kind of celebration. And it's not Christmas, that's too obvious. It's something else. Something that maybe only you know about at the moment, or maybe you're planning. And it could be one that you're invited to by a friend. But there is a celebration. There's reason for happiness. <clears throat> you may have something to celebrate of your own. And um, I think the person that's worried about you has no reason to. There's nothing really bad here. So expect a party. Expect a reason to be cheerful. Expect your man to be a slightly predictable, but I think he's the sort of bloke that does what he says he'll do. I think the trickery and deceit is possibly not from your lover. I think it's someone else. It could be from your lover, but I don't think so. So make sure you're not being deceived. If someone knocks the door selling double glazing, don't buy it, okay? Watch out if you're buying second-hand cars or anything like that. Do not be cheated. If you're buying a car second-hand, take someone with you who knows what they're doing if you're not too clever at it. Take an expert with you. That's just an example, but don't be cheated, okay? Now we're going to find out, number three, if the oracle cards agree with what I'm told you. These were shuffled before any of these four readings, so they've been shuffled. I don't know what's coming up. Let's have a look. I need my bike for this. My glasses. Air card. Once you acknowledge your self-worth, your confidence will soar. So, uh, some birds flying away there. Forever autumn. Could be. Good song. Once you acknowledge your self-worth, your confidence will soar. So it tells me, number three, that your self-confidence is at a bit of a low at the moment. Could it be linked to this waiting that you're doing? You're waiting for something. No, I can't put my finger on what it is. You're waiting and you're getting fed up with waiting. And I think your self-confidence is down. You need, I say this to a lot of people, look in the mirror See the beauty there, not just your physical beauty, your spiritual beauty, and have some confidence in yourself. You're as good as anyone and better than most. Remember that and feel it and mean it. So, once you acknowledge your self-worth, your confidence will soar. So acknowledge that you're worth a lot to a lot of people. A lot of people need you. A lot of people think a lot of you, number three. So you have self-worth and you need to remember it. You're good. That's not patronising, that's facts. Let's take a look at the next one, an earth card. Oh, blossom. Beautiful blossom. May not be spring when you watch this. May not be springtime, but the blossom is there. An earth card. The harder you climb, the better the view at the end. Your reward is coming. 
So if things are hard or stalling or not going quick enough, the harder the climb, the better the rewards at the end. So it's worth it. They're saying to you it's worth it. Your reward is coming. You will be paid. You will be rewarded. Karma will come to you. If you've been hanging around for somebody to make a decision, they're saying to you, the spirit guides are saying to you that the reward will come. So stick with it a bit longer. If you need a reading with me on the telephone from anywhere in the world, book me on my website, which is davidcharlespsychic.com. You can book me on there and I'll read it to you from anywhere in the world on the phone. If you can't get me, if I'm busy, one of my team that work for me will help you and they're the best. I only employ the best. They've got to be good to get in my team. They're the elite. So that's davidcharlespsychic.com. Please subscribe as well if you haven't done so. And click like for me if you like it. And um, click the bell icon and you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. So the harder you climb, the better the view at the end. Your reward is coming. Let's have a look at the next one, number three. An earth card again. Drop your mask and trust that what happens will help you to move forward. So if you have a mask on, not really, metaphorically speaking, although I'm filming this during the COVID outbreak, but that's not the kind of mask they mean. They mean you're wearing a mask, maybe trying to be something or appear to be something that isn't really you. So drop the mask, that's what they're saying. Be yourself. Trust that what happens will help you to move forward. So whatever happens, trust it. Whatever comes along and things are coming along, and I think at the end of this pause you're going through, things are going to start to happen. And these cards are all pointing to that. The spirit world is saying, trust what happens and you'll be okay. Last one, an air card. A circle of clouds. Can't be real, can it? Photoshop circle of clouds, I reckon. An air card. What you are feeling isn't fear, it's excitement. Embrace it. That card comes up a lot as well. What you're feeling isn't fear, it's excitement. So embrace it. I think you're, what we're getting here from the spirit is that things are much better than you think they are. And I think you may be seeing the glass as half empty when really it's three quarters full. And, I, and they say, Joni Mitchell, was it? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. And I think that's, that applies here. I think things are better than they appear to be for you, number, number three. So embrace what's going on and enjoy it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And click the like button and share me with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and all that lot. Click the bell icon and a special thank you, as always, to the, those of you watching alone or if you're lonely. That means a lot to me that you bother to watch my videos. A special thank you if you're alone or if you're lonely. Thank you for watching that number three. I hope you'll stick with me next time I release a video. And we'll move on now and get ready for number four. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome back. If you chose number four, this one's for you. It's a timeless reading, as I keep saying. It means you can find it today, next week, or 10 years from now, and you'll find this reading when the spirit guides want you to find it. So if you found this reading today, number four, and you chose this number four, and these cards, the spirit guides want you to do that, and there will be a message in here for you somewhere. There will be, definitely. So stay with me. I'll tell you the negatives first, all the bad stuff first. And keep all the good stuff till the end, number four. So stay with me until the end, because the surprises come at the end. This is called, what is he thinking about you now? Could be a she, of course. So it's really a love reading, I suppose. And uh, I'll tell you the negatives first. And a special welcome to you if you're alone, or if you're lonely. That means a lot to me that you bother to watch my videos. Thank you. The reading indicates some temptation, which means, number four, that you may be tempted to do things that you may regret, or you may be tempted to say things that you may regret. And of course the message is don't. So don't say anything that you'll regret. Don't do things that you'll regret. And it can mean that you're being a bit flirtatious or a bit promiscuous, if that's the right word. You're doing things you may, may regret later on, so don't do it. Don't two-time people, don't hurt people. 
and don't say things that you'll regret. If you're typing an email, when you press that send button, that's it. There's no getting it back or WhatsApp or all the other things. Be careful what you're saying because temptation sometimes is sent to see how we react, to test us out. And temptation is coming to you and it may already be there, number four. It's not all gloomy, I'll tell you the good stuff at the end. As in number one's reading, there's a pregnancy in this reading, so that's not negative. As long as you want it, of course. But the pregnancy may not be you, it could be someone close. It could be your sister, it could be your... If you're a chap, it could be your lover. There's a pregnancy close in that case, of course. There are new beginnings, there is fertility, which as I said earlier, in number one's reading, it, fertility doesn't just mean babies, it means growth. Things taken off and um, new jobs sometimes, new hobbies. It can mean new friends and it can mean pregnancy. It can mean a new romance, of course. This reading isn't as lovey-dovey as I'd like it to be because it appears, number four, that you've got some decisions to make about romance. Now, that can mean some kind of crossroads, as we, we often get in these readings. <clears throat> like when you get to a crossroads in your car, you can go left, right, or straight ahead. But in a reading like this, it means you can't... Normally, you can't go backwards. So it can mean that an ex-lover is trying to win you back. Someone you may have ditched years ago, or someone that may have ditched you years ago. Or someone that just drifted away. Maybe contacting you, maybe through social media, maybe you'll meet through natural means or phone calls, but they may be trying to talk you into going back and trying to rekindle a romance. And it's not really recommended in most readings when it looks similar to this. The spirit guides, it may be that that's what the temptation is. You're tempted to go back to an old lover and it would spoil things. Now, romantic crossroads has a few possible meanings. It can mean a brand new lover for you. It can mean you're meeting somebody new, or you may have just met somebody new, number four. If you have, then he or she is definitely thinking about you because it's coming through strong. But it can also mean, number four, that you've got two lovers and you have to choose one. Yet again, it confirms the temptation in the reading. So if you have two lovers and they say to me, can you love two people at the same part time? The answer is yes. You can, but you'll always love one more than the other. One of them will always get more love than the other. That's, there's no question about that. And if you're in this position, or this predicament, number four, I think that you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Put the comments below for me. Ask me questions, I'll answer them. If you want to ask me questions privately, go to my website and email me. My website is davidcharlespsychic.com. If you want a full reading on the telephone from anywhere in the world, you can book me on my website. And I'll read for you a full length reading in private on the phone from anywhere in, on the planet. If I'm not free on the website, one of the team that work for me will help you and they're the best. I only employ the best. They've got to be good to get in my team. That's davidcharlespsychic.com. So, watch out for temptation. I don't think really, number four, that you've had an easy life re recently. I think you've been through a, a barrage of problems. Not just romantic either. I think you may have had problems at work. I think you may have had problems with your family or friends, maybe some falling out. Not necessarily seeing lots of arguments, but there's something showing me that you, life hasn't been easy lately, number four. And I tell you now, and you heard it here first, it's going to change. Things will pick up soon. Anyway, the love tri triangle, crossroads, not triangle, the love crossroads, lover's crossroads can mean a new lover. It can mean two lovers and you have to choose one. And it can also mean that you feel that you're in love when you're not. You're just lonely or you're fed up and you're mixing up your own feelings. Excuse me, I've got an itch. So it can be one of those three things, a new lover, a choice of two lovers, or you're not really in love. You're just lonely and fed up and you feel like you're in love when you're not. So you can be sort of kidding yourself. Now there's a fish or in the reading you may be seeking advice from somebody who has authority. It could be somebody at work. It could be the boss. It could be somebody that's above you at work. It's someone that you respect. It's not someone you don't like. 
And I think this person, he or she, most likely a he, is someone that will give you advice that you need to hear. It's nothing to do with love. I know it's a love reading, but the advice coming, I've got to tell you everything, may be from some kind of person in authority. But as far as love goes, I think that your lover, he or the person of interest that you're watching this about, <coughs> wants changes. I think he wants changes. I think he wants to get closer to you. I think he gives the impression, if it's a man, that he doesn't really care. I don't think he's very good at showing feelings. And when he does, he's probably clumsy with it. You know, he might just say, I love you so quickly that it doesn't seem to have any meaning. I think he's not very good at it. He's not very skillful at it. That doesn't mean he doesn't care. And I think if we're looking at a man, number four, then he is thinking about you right now as you're watching this. As I said earlier to one of the other readings, this now for text messages and emails, because he may be, sometimes when you have these readings, it prompts them to think about you. The spirit world are, are busy working in the background, of course. Watch out if you're signing legal documents or marriage papers or anything to do with divorces, because they may be in your reading as well. As I said, and keep saying, this won't apply to all of you. It won't resonate with all of you. Take what does, ignore what doesn't, or ring me for a reading on the phone. And the website is davidcharlespsychic.com. As I said, if I'm not free, one of the team that work for me will help you. Now it appears, number four, that you're quite psychic. As indicated by the Major Arcana star card. There she is. One foot on the land, one foot in the water. Means she can do anything. She's balanced. She's a, a creature of beauty. The star card tells me, especially when it's surrounded by this sort of thing, that number four, that you're quite psychic. Now, are you using it or are you dismissing it as coincidences and thinking, oh, it can't be real? When it probably sometimes is, it may not be all. You may see things that you think are important and, and you may think that these things are, are rubbish, but they're not. In some of the cases, you'll be having premonitions, number four. And it may be that you're doubting it. You may be having psychic dreams. As I keep on saying in these readings, psychic dreams are often repetitive. And if the spirit world repeat your dreams, they're doing it because they're trying to get messages through and you're not getting the messages. So they keep repeating it until you do. So psychic dreams can be repetitive. Write them down because you have psychic ability, number four, that's definite. I'm sure some of you already know that. If you have psychic ability, the chances are that you'll have healing ability as well. So you can heal your romance. If your romance is stumbling or not going along as smoothly as you like, it, there's no reason why it can't. In other words, the, the psychic reading here, the spirit world is saying to you that you can put it right. I don't think it's going to be simple for all of you because there's temptation in the reading, which I don't like. There's signs that you've had a rough time lately, which I'm not sure I'm keen about, but I know that's going to improve. I think if you use your psychic ability number four, you'll see the way out of any problems you've been having. You'll see the way. Trust your, the feelings inside you. Don't ask other people, because they, they, they may not be able to look at it as, as closely and psychically as you can. Sometimes I say to people, ask your friends, get advice, have readings with me. But at the moment, I think you can trust your own psychic ability, number four, and work out the way forward. But the person we're looking at, the person of interest, is thinking of you. I think he or she loves you in their own way. I don't think they're very good at it. But that doesn't mean they don't love you. And that's what I'm sticking with. Watch out for a psychic a lover's crossroads, I mentioned. Do not fall for temptation. And if you want a baby, if you're trying to get pregnant, this is ideal timing. From this, When you read this, see this reading, you will be highly fertile in the weeks and months that follow. As I said, it may be that fertility can mean other things as well. Growth, expansion, new jobs, new romances, weddings. It means things you touch are growing. So sort out your temptation and don't fall for it. I promise you, number four, things are going to improve. Watching this video, 
will help things improve. And I think you'll know what I mean. Let's take a look at some Oracle cards. See if they back up what I've told you. Need glasses for these. The eyes are going a bit. This is an Earth card. This isn't what you expected to happen, but trust that it's part of the plan. So the, as I said, that's backing up what I said, the spirit world have a plan for you. A nice car, you may be able to see the, looks like the moon. It's getting a bit close if it is. Anyway, this isn't what you expected to happen, perhaps, but trust that it's part of the plan. So God makes his plan, the spirit guides make their plan, and what's going on with you now Number four is all part of the plan. You're having to go through it. You're having to experience it. I don't like the fact that I don't think you've had it easy lately, but it's part of the plan. It may be that you've had a bad time and that's going to remove all the rubbish. So you may look at it later and be glad. That may not seem likely now, but trust me, it will be. You may look back in six months and think, well, thank God for that. that I'm glad it happened. Earth card again. Visualization will help you to heal. See your body bathed in a glow. This is a time for when you're in the bath or relaxing or meditating. Try to imagine that you're surrounded by a glow, like you've been encapsulated by light or a star even from the heavens. And things will help you, this will help you to heal, not physically, I think it's a, a, a spiritual thing where you've been upset in romance most likely and you need to heal, and this, this meditation like this will help you to heal. So allow healing to come in, number four. I'm sure you know what I mean. Visualization will help you to heal. See your body bathed in a glow. So see the good stuff, ignore the negatives, because they're going into the past. As I said, they will, and they will. The bad time you've had will become a distant memory soon, so allow yourself to heal number four let's take a look at another one a water car you're in touch with the you're in touch with your truth trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself so it said exactly what i've just told you a few minutes ago trust your inner vision like the song says you're in touch with your truth with your truth trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself so if you're being put down or pushed around, be more assertive, assert yourself. If your lover isn't being coming forthcoming with love, tell him you need him to in, in, a, in a kind way or her. And don't give out more love. If you can help it, don't give out more love than you're receiving, than you're getting in. Because there needs to be a balance. And I think some of you are going through, I think some of you number four are going through a complicated time with your love life and I do believe that once you've sorted it out over the coming weeks things will get really really good for you and I believe that put the comments below tell me if I'm right last one a water card again the deep blue sea washes away your cares and concerns so again when you're meditating think of the sea hear it got any sea music put it on and think of the sea washing away your cares. I think you're worrying a lot, number four. I think you're worrying unnecessarily a lot of you. Of course there's always worries. Everyone has worries. You've got bills to pay and jobs to do. But I think most of you, number four, may be worrying unnecessarily or, or worrying too much about things. So you need to see the good stuff. Just read that again. The deep blue sea washes away your cares and concerns. If you are near the sea, and it's not too rough or dangerous, and you can get a paddle and do so, or a swim if you're a good swimmer. But I think a lot of you will be by the sea. It happened in one of the readings earlier, that it may be that the sea will call you to it, and you'll move there eventually. If you can move to the coast, do so. I'm by the coast, and it's wonderful. And if I can help it, I'll never change it for the world. So the sea is very beneficial for everyone, I believe, and if you can get to it or, it, or picture it inside you, flowing over you, do so, and it will heal you as well. I think number four, it's not the best of the four readings, but it's certainly optimistic. I think if you've gone through a bad time, the worst is over, and I'm so glad you watched this, and special thank you if you watched it alone or if you're lonely. If you want a reading with me, go to davidcharlespsychic.com, my website. 
if I'm not free on there, one of my team will help you and they work for me and I only have the best. They can't go to my team if they're not good. So they will help you. That's davidcharlespsychic.com. Please subscribe to my channel if you can and click like for me. And if you like it, and what else? Click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. Please comment below. It means such a lot to me if you comment below and I'll answer all my comments. If you want to contact me privately, go to my website and email me and I'll answer you. I answer all my emails, davidcharlespsychic.com. Thank you so much. I'll tell you my motto, number four, before I leave you. My motto is this, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And of course, I love all of you, every one of you. See you soon. Take care. Catch you later. Bye-bye.